Hey everyone, it's Will Taylor, and it used to be I would do these things where I would come to you and call them Coffee with Will. I've been off coffee for almost two months now, and so it's going to be called Tea with Will now. And to remind you, my intention is to share with my friends and fans that are here on, on Facebook things that I'm working through and that we could have a conversation and help each other. So I'm glad that you're here. If you're wondering what, what this is about, I have my tea. And good morning to you. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you an opportunity to help me with something that I'm working on. Um, but I wanted to mention something that happened to me recently. I was taking a walk with my mom. I was thinking about all of this music that I've been writing recently. Uh, I've been sitting down uh, and playing the guitar and the piano and, and just having a great time going on that journey where you sort of forget about yourself and you are in that zone of creativity that everybody has available as a human being. It's not just professional artists, but everybody can do this in their own way. And I think it's important to find that space for yourself in life. Well, but anyway, I've been writing this music and I was reflecting back about when I was a kid. In my teens, I was so concerned with and focused on writing music that was different and exciting and bizarre and and strange and and it, you know it had to be it had to be original i was so focused on being original and so it had its place in my development but now i am so happy and pleased and also thrilled with the challenge of writing a beautiful interesting melody there's not this concern with being so different but it's not easy to write a gorgeous melody that stands on its own. And I was having this conversation with Charles Pruitt yesterday. We were talking about how Beethoven doesn't really write long extended melodies. He writes more mo mo motifs that then he develops. And that it, they're almost dependent on the full orchestration or the, the full composition. Whereas what I'm doing right now is to write a melody that can be sung and stand on its own. And then when you add the textures and the arrangement around it, it makes it fuller and more interesting. But I thought that was interesting. And I'm wondering if any of you have any parallels in your lives. Yes, any parallels in your lives, things that you've worked on as a kid. How are you different now than you were as a kid? And and just to notice that and and take stock of that and, and enjoy where you are in your life. And not to say one is better than the other, but um, I'm enjoying just coming up with these melodies and of course, there's still that side of myself that wants to add my signature to it. So even when I create these these uh, singable melodies, I'm still working toward doing something interesting with it. And I think that's the craft of it. That's part of the craft. How are you doing, Tammy? How's it going, Marlon? Parcilla and Julie, how are you doing today? Um, if you just came here, make little likes. We love the little hearts and likes at the bottom there on our stage. We love that. We love if you chime in and say where you're um, watching us from. What are you doing? Are you at lunch right now? Does any of this resonate for you? Just to remind you, I'm coming to you. This is Tea with Will. Coming to you with things that I'm realizing and working on in my thoughts that I think could be helpful to my friends wherever you are in this part of the world. Yes, we love the, the likes and the hearts on the bottom there. And I'm in the process of creating a new fan base, a new group of fans for... Uh, the duo project I have with my partner, Karen Mall. So I'm working on a Facebook page, getting all that music together, learning about what the culture is, what people like, and we're kind of focusing on the Celtic fusion music. And what I need is a few people who would love to see what what kind of things we're writing. What I'm doing is I'm writing an email. Hey, Bob, how's it going? My trumpet playing friend from the Austin Lyric Opera from many years ago. Hey, Hey, Bob. So what I'm doing is I'm writing a sequence of emails that sort of tell the story of the music, the Celtic music, and how Karen and I met, what our lives are like here in Austin, the ways that we contribute to the community. So there's more of a backstory to the music. I think when you have those tentacles going in to the story of the artists that you love and the music you love, I think there's more depth to that, to hearing that music, you know? So what I'm what I need is a few people if they'd like to come forward and just send me a direct uh message and I have you know my point of view and I have my way of thinking but I would be curious as to 
what your point of view would be for, for, from somebody who would be consuming the music. You know, like the order of the emails. I mean, I'm thinking that the order of the emails might be important. We're, we're looking at like three to five emails to sort of tell the story of this Celtic album that Karen put out about 15 years ago that's her most popular album. It's very, it's sold very well. Uh, it's beautiful. It's got a story. It's, there's a story about how she came to Celtic music. I'm going to read a little bit of that right now. And what I'm wondering is if there's a few people out there who would like to come forward and that we could have a conversation back and forth. I ask you, hey, what do you think about this wording here? What do you think if I change the email orders? Would that, you know, so right now I'm thinking that the way this works is somebody, somebody is brand new to us. They get a song from this Celtic recording called Dark Eyed Sailor. And I think that we should go right into telling the story about Dark Eyed Sailor and how Karen came to Celtic music. It's a really interesting story. And then later, since we're giving them the music, we should make the story appropriate to that. And then later start telling the story of how Karen and I met and uh, the things that we do in Austin with community and all that. I, originally, I was going to put the getting to know Will and Karen stuff first and then the Celtic music stuff later. That's my first question. So these are the kind of questions I would like to bounce back and forth if any of you are interested in that. There's three of you watching right now. So one of the emails that goes out to warm people up, to to sort of let people know what the story is, the narrative, right? The narrative is behind the music. I mean, Bob is in the Austin Symphony. One of the thing, things that I love is the conductor of the Austin Symphony will do a little video about the music and it it it's so so helpful to know <laughs> the person behind the music that wrote the music what they were going through what their intentions were when i go hear that at this concert hall how's it going pam so here's the story this is karen's uh first draft about her coming to celtic music through most of the 90s i was part of a fabulous theater company working as an actor and musician in original plays based in folklore. One, of the, one year, the company was planning to create a show about Irish folk tales with traditional music. At the time, I was spending my winters in New York City. The theater work ran from May through October, so my assignment that winter was to find everything I could about Irish traditional music. There was a vibrant, thriving musical scene in the Irish pubs of Manhattan in those years. Irish and Irish-American musicians, and just plain Americans who wish they were Irish, would gather around a few tables, very matter-of-factly, but with great reverence, and play in a circle, laid into the night. I mean, these guys, well, yes, they were mostly men, could drink whiskey and play music without stopping until three in the morning, and for a time, I became one of them. So that's the first paragraph from Karen's story about coming to Irish music. Um... And so I'm putting together these, these emails that go out and tell the narrative about us. If you'd like to help me, just give me some feedback. What draws you in? If you have any opinions on the order of the emails, things like that. If you'd like to help Will and Karen with this process, uh, make a comment below or just reach out to me on Facebook. I hope everybody's having a great day. And if you just chimed in watching this video right now, Go back and watch it from the beginning when I talked about a walk I had with my mom recently and some reflections on how I was different as a kid and how I'm different now as a middle-aged person. <laughs> uh, what, I like to, what I like in writing my music, what, what, I, what, I, what I like to strive for, what I find, find enjoyable and pleasing in a way when I write new music. I uh, hope you watch it from the beginning, and I hope you come check out our new page, which is, if you just go up into the search bar up there somewhere, right, and put in Karen Mall and Will Taylor, and check out our new page, and listen to the music, and listen to the stories, and come into the conversation. Let us know where you're watching this from. Oh, somebody just tuned in. Who is that? All right, guys. I'm going to wave at everybody here, having a fun morning working on this, and I'm going to go do a live video now for that 3,000 people that are fans of us over on the Will, or actually the Karen Mall and Will Taylor page. And uh, I wish you a very happy day. It's been great. It's Tea with Will on January 30th. I think I just realized what today is for somebody. <laughs>